Hi ladies, this is Martika and I'd like to share with you my latest projects uh, that I've done. Um, I want to share with you these dress forms I did, um, which I bought at Michael's and I, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the package looks like. Um, this is the package of the undone dress form. It comes with a stand, as you can see, and it comes with the little arm thingy to hang like necklaces and stuff, but I did not use that on these three. Um, and this I got at the cra arts and craft department in Michaels, where you find the little girl crafts and stuff. That's where I found it. It was like $3.99. I did uh, use my 40% uh, off coupon so on some of them, not all of them, so it worked out perfect. But, but anyway, here it is. Um, what I did was, on these two, I went ahead and used Graphic 45, the steampunk debutante paper, and I just did a template of the form and just cut it out and just added everything else. Um, I don't know how close I can get that you'll see it clearly, but I went ahead and um, added some metal, you know, how steampunk what steampunk is all about. This is a metal butterfly. This is not a die cut or anything like that. It's a metal butterfly. Um, where I got it, I have no idea. I've had that for a long time, so I don't know. Um, here's some of the I Am Roses right here that I put right and right behind it. Oops. Oh, look at that. You see that? The glue is not, it's not working out that good. Anyway, um, I'll have to re-glue it again, but anyway, um, and here are some flowers. This is hair accessories. This is this flower is from a clip to put on your hair, and I went ahead and used it here with some ribbon, and and it brought these little feathers. So um, I used some crocheted lace right here so that it'll look like the skirt. Um, let me see on this side. As you can see, I put a feather so that it, it would coincide with the bird right here. And I just embellished, I put a, some, some chain and some more of the lace and some more of the I Am Roses. And here it says, You Rock My Heart, right here. Um, a little bell. Somebody sent me this. I don't even know what it says. Um, it says something. Saw. Uh, solvent I don't know what it says solving I don't know but anyway I thought it was kind of cute and it worked so this is one this is the other one it's, it's very similar now this is the one that I have on sale in Etsy um, this is an, a, uh, an earring a clip earring and another chain here it says adventure and I put a little from a piece of jewelry a little metal thingy here in the back of this flower. Um, let me see. Here, I think these are Prima flowers. I put this little doohickey from the package here. It, it brings two. It's to put at the end of the stick. Well, I painted it and, and used it here because I did paint all of this and then added um, everything else. But And this is the back to this. This is a piece of vintage jewelry. It's a heart. It's not a locket. It's just a piece of jewelry. Heart. And I went ahead and added some brads here and some lace and some of the, um, I think it's Tim Holtz or whatever, um, steampunk gears or what have you. And some lace. I love this lace right here. And again, I added this as a skirt which it worked perfectly and another butterfly metal butterfly down here and that's about it um, let me go ahead and mention this one this is a Paris as you can see it says Paris there and I did it in the Marie Antoinette colors I went ahead this is a rose I love these added some pearls and some tulle some lace up here some Prima flowers and a bow and some more tulle. Uh, the tulle comes from down here all the way up there. 
this paper that I used back here, the background paper is the Tim Holtz shabby paper. And then this is, um, I don't remember the Paris paper here. I don't remember what company. Uh, maybe it's Prima. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe somebody can, recognizes it and lets me know because I don't remember the name of it. And I put some bows and pearl swir oh, swirly things, flourishes. And of course, you can't miss my little bird. Bought this bird at Michael's and I added a little crown charm to its head. Okay, it's... um. And then I used the blue on this side and I put a brooch, cameo brooch, and some lace, some more Prima flowers here, some more lace here, like so, and some tulle, and some flourish um, pearls. So um, that's about it. This is how I did this. Oh, I painted it in white. On this one I painted in white and these I painted like a, a brownish color so that it'll match the paper. And um, that's about it. I mean, that's all I, I did on this. Let me go ahead and show you another box that I did. It's a Marie Antoinette box that I'm going to give a friend of mine. It's a gift for a friend of mine. And I, and this little cushion, pin cushion maybe. Um, it actually smells like vanilla so and I just added these um, I added this this bow and some little flowers here and a little cameo then I went ahead and this box I had done way back when a while ago and I thought she, this friend of mine that I'm gonna give it to that she would appreciate it um, this is is it's paper I forgot, I don't know if it's, um, shoot, I don't remember the brand. I don't know if it's uh, DC, WV or whatever. I don't remember who is paper, but Michaels used to sell it. And I went ahead and, and painted the box in white because it's a, it's, it's, it's a cigar box, okay? And I painted it in white and then I just added all this lace and paper and a Marie Antoinette image that says Paris and some little I Am Roses here. And some more lace like so this I got from the wedding section at Michaels okay I added little legs to the box as you can see I added the legs and then let me open it up because I have some goodies that I'm gonna give her here I just this is a, a, a crown sticker and I added some tags uh, with some lace some like little pieces of lace that I've had um, that I went ahead and added to her collection because she doesn't have much lace so I wanted to share and then these are some keys um, and some little it's really more of keys and little locks plus a few buttons that she might be able to use I hope so and um, and that's about it this is the this now mind you this box I did a while ago so but I'm just gonna give it as a gift now and hope she likes it and um, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video I hope I inspired you all um, I'm in the process of making another dress form so as soon as I'm finished with that I'll go ahead and, and do a video on it okay alrighty ladies thanks a lot for watching my video and for leaving me comments and I hope this inspired you all to create and create and create okay have a good one have a good weekend too bye bye